got this awesome idea for an episode from a faithful follower who English is their second language and they wanted to understand a little bit more some of the slang terms that go along with reproductive health. And so I'm going to give this my best shot. Um, if I miss anything or if you disagree with my interpretation of something, please let me know in the comments. But um, I'm going to try to explain some of the most popular terms uh, for body parts and intimacy and body function in this video. All right, so let's start with some anatomy terms. First, penis. So the male phallus. Um, penis can also be called dick, pecker, woody, cock, wiener, member, johnson, and those are all just kind of pet names for the penis. Now, dick can often be used as a derogatory or a mean thing to call someone to, like you are being a dick or a dick head, um, in which case it is not a nice thing, but um, that is what some of the most popular terms for penis are. When it comes to vagina, uh, we have terms like cunt, pussy, which is why you'll often see a cat symbol representing a vagina because of the pussy connotation, and twat. Rounds out the list there. So similarly, cunt is often used as a derogatory term as well. So you're being a cunt uh, would be not a nice thing to say to someone. Testicles are often called balls, nards, nads, short for gonads. And again, testicles are the reproductive organs of male anatomy. All right, breasts are um, often called tits, boobs, jugs, fun bags, uh, boobs, breasts, female mammary glands. All right, which brings me to my next section, which is same set of reproductive organs and instead I'm going to talk about the food associations. So this is almost like a separate category because I don't know why we have so many food terms to explain different um, parts of the body. Um, perhaps it is because we love food. Perhaps it is because we love analogies. Perhaps it's because a lot of these things can be put in the mouth. Um, of note, none of these provide any nutritional benefits. Okay, so these are just food terms that are used for different reproductive organs. Okay, so penis, you might hear words like sausage or cucumber or eggplant. And you can guess by the shape of those that they all look somewhat like a penis. All right, vagina. Pink taco, or sometimes to be really crass, fish taco, which is more a reference to sometimes the vagina um, can have a bit of a fishy odor. But if you think about what a taco looks like, it has outer shell flaps and then the inner substance. And so you could think of the labia, so the outer part of the vulva, so the area that surrounds the vagina, as the taco shell, and then the middle is the vagina, the clitoris, and that would be more the meat of the taco. Okay. Testicles are often referred to as nuts. 
for whatever reason. Breasts can be called melons, like cantaloupe or honeydew or watermelon. So the shape, again, think about the shape and what we're describing. And then this one, so you'll often see a peach and that can, in different contexts, indicate the vagina or the butt. And the rear end part of it is the peach has that little indentation, so it kind of looks like a butt. That's where it came from, I suppose. Okay, next section, intimacy. So there's self-pleasure, and then there is pleasure with other people. And so for starters, jerking off is a phrase that refers to masturbation. And it's generally used in the male context, but females can use it as well. But uh, jerking off would describe the act of self-pleasure. Dry humping is when two people are clothed and there's no penetration of any orifice or whole of the body. It's just rubbing um, body parts against each other for pleasure, but there's no actual penetration. But ejaculation is possible with that. So two people rubbing up against each other for pleasure. Hand jobs are going to be when your partner provides the sexual pleasure. So either um, your partner rubs your penis for pleasure or your partner's partner rubs your clitoris for pleasure. Then there's a blow job which has nothing to do with blowing. Um, so a blow job is generally more rubbing and sucking a penis for pleasure. Um, so that's what a blow job refers to. And then eating out more refers to the act of oral intimacy on female body parts, specifically the clitoris. That's when a partner would put their mouth on the private parts and provide pleasure. Rimming or a rim job or tossing the salad all refer to providing oral pleasure around the anus or licking around the anus like a, in a circular motion maybe? Like a rim of a tire? Um, and then popping the cherry is an old term that really, there are many reasons why it's inaccurate, but popping the cherry essentially means when a vagina is penetrated for the first time and the hymen tears. And so there's bleeding and that is called popping the cherry. So it's often considered when a female loses her virginity popping the cherry, although there are many reasons why that terminology is actually totally incorrect. But again, the idea is popping the cherry, tearing the hymen with penetration. Scissoring is, think about taking two scissors and putting them together. So scissoring is the act of two vulvas, so two female private areas rubbing up against rubbing up against each other for pleasure. So generally the clitoris rubbing up against the other clitoris. Um, but it is again the act of two people with female body parts rubbing up against each other for pleasure. Compare that to frauding. Thank you to a recent question I got about this. Frauding is rubbing two penises together for pleasure. Um, yeah, and that's that. All right, and lastly, we're gonna talk about bodily functions. So this is an old one. I don't know if like people, younger people use it, but older people still use the term on the rag, which means that you are on your period. I don't, I don't know, like you have a rag that collects the blood or something. I don't know, it's weird. Another bodily function, erections. Might be described as a boner, 
a chubby or a hard on. Probably a lot of other terms out there for it too, but those are going to be pretty common. And then nutting. So the act of orgasm. And from what I understand, I think it probably comes from like the testicles being called nuts and then you are nutting or you nut. The act of nutting would be releasing some semen. So ejaculation, nutting. I think it can be used for both males and females, um, but that's my understanding of the term nutting, is that it basically means orgasming and ejaculating. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, blowing your wad, also another term for ejaculation. And then, of course, queefing or pussy fart. Um, both indicate vaginal flatulence, or the sound that a vagina makes when air has been trapped in it, and then the air is released, and it sounds kind of like a fart. And, yeah. All right, this has been fun, and hopefully somewhat educational. Let me know if you have more terms that you would like explained. This is kind of medical. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.